Twin brothers George and Josh Atkinson began playing football in the sixth grade. Last year, as juniors, George ran for 965 yards and scored 12 touchdowns while Josh had an interception and established himself as one of the Bay Area's best defensive backs. This year, the Speedsters are helping Granada to a fast start. It's Granada's home opener against Castro Valley. George Atkinson III is putting on a show. The 6'2", 200-pound running back has run for two touchdowns and returned a punt for another score. Oh yeah, there's still eight and a half minutes left in the first quarter. We always talk about having a short memory and forget about the last play, but with him, it really makes it a reality. The, his teammates recognize and we recognize we are literally one play from scoring, and that's a huge blessing to have. Meanwhile, George's twin brother Josh is helping to make sure the defense is equally as impressive from his defensive back spot. The result? Another Matadors win, pushing their record to 3-0. and We're more of a team, no individuality at all. I mean, coach is definitely making his work harder. Definitely our goals are set to where it's playoffs. While the two agree winning comes first, they're not on the same page for other important questions, like who's the better dancer? Me. me. Of course. I'm always at the dances. All the girls come to me. No. And he's always <laughs> back here like this all the time. <laughs> And I'm always dancing. No, he so, can't yeah. dance at all. And how about video games? Me, Madden, no. NCAA, no. It's a wrap. No, everything. Not at all. He hasn't beat me once in oh Madden gosh. nor NCAA. I beat him all the time in Madden. It's usually twenty-one stunts. Usually we can't finish a game. Twenty-one stunts. No way. He usually, shuts it up. That's him. It seems the only thing they agree on is George being one minute older. He's uh, last in everything. I, kick, I kicked him out. So. Less than a month ago, the two made oral commitments to play on scholarship at the University of Notre Dame. For George, who had offers from national powerhouses like Alabama, it all came down to one thing. I think their education is always going to be life after football no matter what, you know, how far you go. And that's a big deal. Um, my dad talked to me about that, and their education is like top notch. While they grew up with their mom in Fresno, the twins moved in with their father about seven years ago. Oh, and Pops just happens to be Raiders Hall of Fame defensive back George Atkinson II. He Finally, still man. gives out those he concussions, get, man. Yeah, he gives out the concussions. You know, when we mess up, we, I mean, it's... He's the bad twin, so I don't get most of them. <laughs> All joking aside, the twins admire their father's honesty and integrity. They've taken my advice, and all I try to do is raise them the way I was raised, and I was raised in the South with good old-fashioned ethics. The <laughs> you know, first thing he talked about was um, being truthful and being respectful. I mean, and ever since, we've been you know, practicing that. As for the so-called pressure of living up to dad's gridiron greatness, George sees it as a blessing. I see him as a guidance and what, what I would like to become as a man and as a football player as well. So I, mean, I wouldn't say as much pressure, but something to, to live up to, work up to. While there's still plenty of work to be done at Granada, Atkinson Sr. is excited to see what the two can accomplish in South Bend. They're growing into pretty good football players, and I enjoy watching them play. So it becomes very easy for me to be somewhat partial. <laughs> But, you know, that's how fathers are. As for the dorm situation, well, it should be interesting. He always wants to wear what I got and nah. I always want to take, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> try to take my girls and everything. But it's all good, though, you know. You know, I'm the bigger brother. I'm the role model. So, nah, nah. you know, he, tried, no. he looks up to me no. all the time. So, <laughs> George and Josh are also accomplished sprinters, ranking first and second, respectively, in the North Coast section for the 100 and 200-meter dash the last two years. They're certainly favorites to get back to the state finals in the spring.